all right friends welcome back to another video on advanced laravel and view series and in the previous video i have given you an assignment so thank you for those who have completed that assignment successfully and for those who haven't figured out the way then in this video i will provide you the solution so first of all let me show you what the assignment was so over here we have this picture and if someone changes this picture let me click on it let me change this to this picture and it got changed over here but we still see that old picture over here on the left sidebar right but if I refresh this page, then it is taking effect. So the assignment was when someone changed the profile picture over here, then it should reflect immediately over here as well. So now let me give you the solution. Let me go to update profile.view file. And over here on handle file change function, we are assigning the profile picture URL value to this blob URL, right? And we have already created the PNI store. So if I go to auth user store.js, we have user and then avatar, right? We have created the state called user now we can use that over here so let me do that we can do auth user store dot user dot avatar equals url dot create object url from that file and we don't need this now and let me search for profile picture url over here we are using that profile picture url instead of doing this we can simply remove it and use that directly from the store and now we no longer need profile picture URL. So let me remove that as well. And let me try this at this will still not work. Let me change this to another image. It got sense, but it is not still reflecting here. So let me go to sidebar left, sidebar left dot view file. And over here, we are still using that user avatar. Instead of doing this, let's use directly from our store. So let's do auth user store dot user dot avatar. Now let me try this. We have this image. Let me change this to this image. And now this got changed over here as well, which is perfect. And if I refresh the page, then this is still working. And there is one another issue on this logout link. This link is not working. So let's fix that as well. If I go to app.view file, then we have left the code over here. So let me remove this code from here because we were calling logout from sidebar left component. So let me put that code over here. Now let me try this. Click on logout. Then we are logged out. Perfect. All right. This much for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, make sure to like, share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this. So till then have a great time and I will see you on the next one soon.